Guys, I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to do something a little bit different than what I usually do on this channel, and that is talk about knives. Now, I know I recently uploaded a video unboxing this. This is my Benchmade Griptilian, and basically what I'm going to do is just show you the Benchmade knives that I do have in my collection, talk about each one of them, and, you know, just throw out some information to any of you guys that might be interested in any of these knives. And before we get started, guys, I would appreciate it if you would like and share the video subscribe to my channel and let me know if you are a Benchmade fan down in the comments below. These are the only Benchmade knives that I currently have in my collection. As many of you guys know out there, Benchmade has a history of being a super high quality knife. Uh, and they're also not very, uh, I guess you could say budget friendly for many folks but they are a great knife if you like knives. And I'm actually gonna put some links down below this video if you are interested in any of these knives. Now the first Benchmade knife that I got is this one. This is the Benchmade CLA which is compact light auto or something like that the so cla this is similar in size to bug out you know the compact light auto it does have a little bit different uh, grip than some of the different ones that are out there and i kind of like it i really like the way that the texturing is on this and of course it is an auto now you do have a safety right here that you can disengage and then you can press that button and that blade comes out in a hurry. Uh, this is a drop point blade. That is typically the type of blade that I like. I really like a drop point blade and I have several of them. Uh, even in other knife brands, this is just the type that I seem to be drawn to for most things for an everyday carry knife. And I do occasionally carry these. I don't carry them always but you know if i'm going to be doing some stuff for where i work at i do not take my good knives to do stuff for them okay i do have some other knives that i'll carry and there again guys i'll use my tools at work for work that way you know i save what i you know what i spend my money on is for me and let me to use these things on my stuff instead of using it on other people's stuff you can see that it is a very light knife it is a very thin knife you know if you open it up it is a very thin blade uh, compared to some of the knives out there and of course guys like all bench mates it is very sharp that's one of the things that bench made is known for as well they do have some super sharp knives and let's just move on to the next one of course this is the newest knife that i have this is my griptilian uh, the benchmade griptilian is my i guess you could say the one that i've been carrying the most lately uh, simply because it's newer you know it's the new knife you know how it is you always give the new stuff a little bit more attention uh, at least for a while and you carry them and you do whatever you need to do with them and of course this one is not an auto uh, it's basically just a flipper type and of course that axis lock uh, this one is getting broken in just from fidgeting with it so much just pull back on that and it will open and close with no problem whatsoever very easy this for me it fits in my hand real well it you know it feels good in my hands point blade now i do know that they have a couple of different blade styles for this particular knife uh, and you know they do have like the sheep's foot or whatever that has the whole uh, you know it has more of a i think a clip point or something like that i can't remember exactly you guys let me know down in the comments below but again this is what i like i like that drop point blade and that you know just for everyday carry for me and this feels good in the hands for me with my size hands it's, this actually feels a little bit better than the CLA just for there again the way that I grip a knife you can see the difference in the grips here okay you can see there's a little bit of difference in the thickness of the grip and for me the way that it fits my hands it does feel a little more comfortable uh, this is very similar in size to the bug out I do not have a bug out or at least not yet uh, and, and for those of you guys out there that like the bug out, I think that this one may have been out before the bug out came out on the market. I don't really know. You let me know down below. But it is, I guess you could say, a uh, uh, you know very similar to the bug out. Uh, of course, this one being an auto, which works very well. And last but not least, guys, any Benchmade collection is not complete unless you have the Benchmade Osborne. Okay, that's just the way that it is. This one has their traditional look. 
it has that purple spine you know the clip and everything however this one is a little bit different it's not the standard traditional this is the auto osborne okay i press the uh, uh the button here you got to make sure that you unlock it first and once you unlock it press the button and that blade comes out of there we have that classic reverse tonto blade that look of the osborne that's just known as a bench made knife that's just a classic look a classic design and this one feels good in the hands also uh, both of them are still a little bit thinner in the grip compared to the griptilian uh, but again i do carry in at times i will carry one or the other of these folding it back up you know it does lock into place and then there is that safety lock guys you push that forward and it does not allow it to open but now one thing you got to be careful of if you have pressed that when you have it in your pocket and i've actually had this happen to me a time or two if you don't lock that safety and you've got it in your pocket that can come open i've had it do that to me a time or two there again i did not lock that safety put it in my pocket and that button would get pressed and the blade would try to come open in my pocket of course getting it out just you know have to be careful not to cut myself you know classic knife classic design and i am glad to have all three of them you know in the future i may add more to my collection i don't really know yet i love guns i love knives and there's just things that i like to do and again these are a very common tool to be used you know a good pocket knife is something that is just a thing it's a tradition it is a common thing to have a good pocket knife on you depending on what you like how it feels and of course what you're willing to spend now depending on what i'm doing uh, if i was going to go down to you know out on the lake on a boat or something like that i would probably leave my bench maids at home and go for something a little more budget friendly uh, simply because i would not want to lose one of these knives and that's one of the things about these you know if you're going to get a premium knife a very nice knife such as a benchmade they can be a bit pricey depending on the model you go with for most people they don't necessarily want to spend this kind of money on a knife and that's why i don't have many of them i have just a few what you see here and again you know i do enjoy carrying them i do carry them and i do use them uh, for things that i'm doing uh, you know very regularly you know this one is like i said mentioned earlier the one that's i guess you could say gotten the most attention lately you know the griptilian uh, but if i was going somewhere to where if i were to lose a knife or i thought there was a possibility of losing a knife i would not take one of my bench mates that's just how i think about it guys uh, you know i want to be able to keep them i don't want to take it somewhere and lose any of them for obvious reasons uh, but guys i'm just kind of rambling now and i just wanted to bring these out and show them to you give each of you guys a little bit of a close-up on this one this is the grip to you and of course it does have that reversible clip that you can move just depending on where and how you carry of course the classic osborne of this being the auto but still in the traditional green uh, with that purple spine very nice and then of course the cla now i have to say i haven't seen as many videos and people talking about this one compared to some of the others that they have but i really like it you know everybody talks about the bug out i think that uh, i'm pretty sure that this one came out well before the bug out and is probably what inspired the bug out but just let me know for sure if any of you guys out there are bench made uh, aficionado aficionados or have you say that word uh, let me know down in the comments below and guys just a quick video that i wanted to do just a little knife fun for the evening let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and again guys i will put links to each of these down there as well thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on my channel and we will see you next time